Okay, we've uh, started it up, we've warmed it up, and now we've actually cut it off because we're not quite ready to ride yet. We're gonna familiarize yourself with the controls, right? So first thing we wanna know about is where the heck are the brakes? How do I stop this thing? So we've got two brakes on it. We've got a front brake right here, and we've got our rear brake right down here. So both brakes are on the right side. So if things go wrong, you wanna go right. And that means hit the pedals and the levers on the right side, okay? And on which occasion do you use which brake? Um, for right brake? now, we're gonna concentrate on mostly the back brake. Okay. As we get more advanced, we're gonna start using the front brake because we actually have uh, more stopping force on the front. Okay. okay, you just wanna be careful that you're not braking as you're turning on them because then you'll, you'll lose your steering input, okay? Yeah. All right, so we've got shifting in gas and clutch. So most four-wheelers, ATVs are gonna have a thumb throttle. And remember, if we get confused, if we're going too fast, we know what to do, we're just gonna let go, okay? Simple. Now, we've also got a clutch over here, right? And since this is a manual type transmission, anytime we're gonna get ready to start or stop, we've got to pull this in, okay? And down here, we have a shift lever, and this one has six speeds. It has one down, neutral is in between first and second, so when we shift to second, we're gonna pull up hard, okay, with our foot, not our hand, okay, and then keep going. But for right now, we're just gonna keep in first gear. We're not really worried about shifting, okay? We just wanna ride safely. Yeah. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna start riding it. So go ahead and hop on. Uh, are you in neutral? How do you know? We're gonna turn the key on over here. Touch the key on and see if we get a green neutral light. We do, we're gonna leave it right there. And guess what, I got a surprise for you. We're not gonna actually run the quad yet. We're just gonna ride it with the engine off. We're gonna ride to the bottom of the hill right here. Brakes functioning and everything. Brakes are working. So, I'm gonna go ahead and push you and I want you to go, you know, down there to the end of the driveway where the gravel stops, okay? All right, now hit the brakes. Okay, and go again. Oh yeah, if you have the, yep. have the wheel. All right, let's take. stop. Stop for me. And we're gonna go down this way. Now, a couple things that are very important on a four-wheeler, especially one that doesn't have the safety nets right here or the Nerf bars, is that we're never ever gonna put our foot down when it's moving. Okay, because what happens, put your foot down for me. It's gonna get caught here and the back tire is gonna roll over it and you're gonna be drug off the machine and twist your knee or break your arm or your leg or something worse, okay? So, let's go ahead, I'm gonna give you a push. I want you to go down right here, all the way to the gravel. And when I say stop or break, I want you to break and then keep going, okay? All right. And break. All right, perfect. All right, I'll give you a little shove and we'll keep going again. This time, once you use both brakes, front and back. And brake. Perfect. You got it. All right, let's go all the way down to the gravel. And I'll, let you, I'll meet you down there. Yeah, just go around right here. Are you ready? Perfect. Okay, so Brandon just rode down the hill again without the engine on, but he went a lot faster that time and he did some great braking, both front and back brakes. And right now we're gonna quiz him on show me the controls, okay? So Brandon, show me your front and rear brakes. Front right here, mm -hmm. rear right here. You got it. Okay, where's your clutch? Clutch right here. Okay, and how do you shift? You press down. Press down to get first gear. First gear and then back up to get second but right now yes right now all we're going to worry about is first gear and getting out of first gear How okay what speeds can you go first gear mm, we can go 10 miles an hour slow yeah. okay we're not in a contest right now okay so we're going to turn the quad around i'll do that for you and then we're going to let you try with the engine okay so let's take a little deeper dive on using the clutch that's this lever that's up here on the left side of the handlebar so we're gonna use that every time we start from a standing stop, okay? So first thing on our quad is we're gonna make sure it's in neutral. So we're gonna click up just a half a click on that shifter 
and that should put us in neutral. Remember, neutral is in between first and second gear. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna pull in this clutch lever, okay? And if you can see, we're gonna pull that lever in all the way to the grip, okay? Uh, now, we're ready to click down, put it in first gear, and we're going to slowly release this lever. We're not gonna pop it like that. We're gonna give it three seconds. So we're gonna do 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then finally, it should be fully released at 1,003. Okay, so I hope that helps on using the clutch. And remember, when you come to a complete stop on a manual transmission quad, we are gonna to need to pull the clutch in, right, to keep it from stalling. Then we can put it back into neutral if we want to and let the machine idle. Okay, so Brandon's gonna show us what he learned. shift from second to third mm -hmm. do I have to you don't have to use the clutch no, no. you don't because it's a fully synchronized uh, transmission uh, and then you downshift right when you're slowing down you, if you're in third or fourth you need to shift down you don't have to use the clutch then either the only time you're really using the clutch start is when you start. start and when you completely stop okay yeah that would have been really confusing yeah clutch all the time. I mean you can use the clutch you just don't need to on these yeah. these machines okay all right let's get it started we'll go back down the hill